Thursday, February the 11th, 2021, and I'm uh, just now embarking on the third restoration of this hard top, made necessary because this headliner has completely separated from the phone underneath. This will provide the detail of how it was put together. These screws and washers, special washers, to hold this rear trim piece in place. I tried unsuccessfully to glue that cantrail seal down properly. I'm going to try to get this stuff off without uh, wrecking it so I can reuse it. It's similar to the original headliner material, but not quite the same. So, just sort of detailed shots of what we're looking at here. I've got the rear window out already, of course. I'll take those securing straps off. I don't think they're handed. But, I'm going to get these chrome pieces redone. These look pretty good. Well, they're not perfect by any stretch. I should get these redone too. Well, there it is. Okay, so time to proceed. I peeled back the uh, the front part, this is the first piece that comes on, which means it's going to be the last piece to go on. You can see where it's been nailed down with tacks. I've managed to salvage the material, which is good, but the, uh, the cardboard underneath will have to be uh, replaced as well as this eighth inch closed cell foam. These are tacks, upholstery tacks, which are used to attach this front part of the headliner. So I removed the uh, drip mold, the chrome drip, whatever it's called. And there's some kind of dum dum that's uh, used, non hardening dum dum. I guess that's to keep the thing from leaking. There are uh, domed headed screws that go in here. It would be much better off using uh, tapered head screws to get them countersunk a little bit so that the cat rail seal has more uh, surface to glue to. Now, peeling off these side panels, it's nailed, tacked here. So that has to be replicated. Heck of a mess. This is the left-handed side panel peel back. These are uh, tacks, upholstery tacks. It's apparent that I glued. First of all, I, I attached the vinyl to the top side of this. And then I uh, glued it on and then tacked it. And then uh, glued this as I went along and put it along the side. I put some foam here first. There it is. And worked it around. I think I've managed to salvage this. Whether or not I want to reuse it, I don't know. But let me see. I'm just about to remove this. Eighth inch closed cell foam, but I thought I should take a video of, of the extent of it. As you can see, there's a fair bit of side and back and front exposure on the underside of this. This is about uh, oh, two inches, two and a quarter, maybe two and a half inches. Same there. You can see at the front there. Just below that, the where the clasps go. Well. 
there are several places where the uh, cardboard is held in place by screws. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them across the, uh, the back. I have one, two, three, four, five, six on the sides. I don't have any on the front here. This is all tacks. But uh, definitely screws were used to secure the the cardboard here. And there's the hard top fiberglass shell with all the hardware and the liner removed. You can see where the the various pieces are tacked into the fiberglass it's screwed in places. There are actually four different panels that go there. The uh, straps are bolted into pieces of steel that are embedded in the fiberglass during its construction. Threaded steel. Both sides and the latches are much the same. There's a plate in there with four threaded holes for the center latch. And then of course the same on the other side.